What's going on guys? So I'm back in town. I was gone for about a week and I had a few things come in. So my buddy <laughs> from Icon to Parfum J decided to send me out a few more fragrances. I have two more discontinued Ferrari fragrances, some little gems. I've already sprayed them on my arms. Um, Jake Bates, shout out to Jake, sent me a Mercedes-Benz man fragrance that I was on the hunt for that he just wasn't wearing and wanted to, you know, send it to a good home. And then, of course, I have the newest Gentleman's Nod fragrance, which is actually my scent of the day as I record this video. So I want to go over these with you and let you guys know what I think. And should you hunt them down? Should you bother getting a sample? Or is, I mean, from what I can tell, there's a lot of variety here, and I just really want to talk to you about it. Bottom line. So stay tuned. Starting with the Mercedes fragrance that Jake sent me is Mercedes-Benz Man Blue, known to be pretty much Mercedes' version of Sauvage. And I gotta tell you, I wanna spray it and smell it again, but it absolutely is a lavender, sour citrus, metallic bomb. And the note breakdown will lead you to believe that maybe it's gonna smell like Sauvage, and then maybe not, because there's Tonka Bean and so on, but it definitely smells like that fuzzy spiced shower gel smell a little bit of sit this sour type of bergamot citrus smell with a lot of lavender you know it's it's got that soapy clean lavender smell that kind of provides the effect i guess you could say mixed with tonka bean it provides the effect of embroxin because if i remember correctly the embroxin is not listed on this fragrance it does smell pretty much, I'm not going to say spot on like Sauvage, but it smells like a slightly cheaper version of Sauvage, which I feel like is what it was meant to be. I mean, you can find these for a decent price. This is a 50 ml. I was planning on getting this sooner rather than later. And, you know, happenstance, Jake happened to message me on IG, sent me some pictures, said, hey man, I'm cleaning out some of my collection. I know you were looking for this one. Would love to send it to you if you're interested. And here we go. I have a 50 ml of it now. And I do really like it. It definitely does remind me of Sauvage. Like I said, you're getting sour. You're getting this sour citrus bergamot smell, that kind of fuzzy, fresh, spicy, soapy shower gel type of feel that you get from Sauvage is here. And I mean Sauvage Eau de Toilette. This smells like Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Now, is performance going to be on the level of Sauvage Eau de Toilette? I don't know. It's possible. Unlikely. But I mean, if I can get five or six hours out of this fragrance... I put that in the win category for sure. As long as I can get in that range, I'm ha even if it's three to four hours, it won't be the end of the world, but I have a feeling this is going to kind of fall somewhere in that average, maybe slightly above average range in performance. Not sure how if I'll have the same level of enjoyment that I get out of Sauvage or Prada Luna Rosa Carbon versus this, but I do plan on wearing it within the next few days. It's going to go into my weekly rotation at the recording of this video. So I'm pretty excited to wear this. Thank you again, Jake. I'm sure you'll see this video. I appreciate you sending this out to me. I'm very happy to add it to the collection. I love getting these Mercedes fragrances, and this is kind of the line I'm starting to slowly gather fragrances for, is the man line. And this is Mercedes-Benz Man Blue. So next we have two that Jay sent me from Icon to Parfum. We have the discontinued Leather Essence. I don't know if he lost the cap or it's a tester, but it's a partial. It's about half the bottle of Leather Essence. I want to talk to you about that one first. And then I don't know how much seems pretty full of vetiver essence, which surprisingly is one of those few vetiver fragrances I enjoy. So first, let's talk about leather essence. This one, when you spray it, I'm actually, I have the dry down here. It's a supple, warm, spicy leather smell in the dry down. But we'll go ahead and get the opening back going. At the top, it's pretty animalic. It's a little rough and tumble but not too rough and tumble. There is still a smoothness. There's a warm, spicy tone to this fragrance. It comes across kind of, I want to say it's like cinnamon or something like that, because it's not real peppery. There's a little bit of a fruity tone, but not heavily fruity, not to where I would sit here and call it like Tuscan leather type of fruity leather. 
but it's definitely in there. Almost a little bit of a smoky, chocolatey type of tone in the backdrop. I wouldn't call it a very smoky fragrance, but I do get a little subtle smoky nuance to the scent. This is really good. This is really good. I sprayed this one on my arm a few hours ago, and I've kind of just been going back to it. And it's, it's nice to remind myself of the opening, because I've only smelled it once, and it was a few hours ago. The dry down is very soft, supple, and warm. And not overly spicy, but still pretty spicy. But this opening, very magnetic, very charismatic. It'll, it'll really pull you in and make you want more. It doesn't smell super cheap. It doesn't smell extremely synthetic. At the same time, it doesn't smell like a high-end luxury fragrance. It kind of falls somewhere in the middle, like a mid-level type of scent profile. Um, I know these Ferrari fragrances are all discontinued now, and Jay's been sending them to me one after another. I'm slowly amassing a lot of them. And I gotta tell you, I've been sleeping on these for a long time. Fragrances like this, Leather Essence, this one's the best Ferrari fragrance I have. This is really good, and this is off of first impression. I haven't given a full wearing yet, but this stuff is really good. If you like leather fragrances, this may be worth seeking out for you. I did happen to see on some of the eBay prices are you know, well over 100 bucks. That's pretty much going rate for most of these Ferrari fragrances now. I don't know if they're worth that kind of money, but if you can find a decent deal on them, this is definitely the best Ferrari fragrance I've smelled so far. If you like warm, spicy, and leather, you're gonna like this one for sure. Like I said, a little hint of smokiness and a little bit of a almost fruity type of sweetness. Like I said, I didn't really look at the notes. I'm not sure what's in here. Just going off of what I smell, and it's pretty damn good. So I'm really happy to have this, because trust me, this partial, it's gonna take me a long ass time to go through. This Ferrari Leather Essence. Next, we're taking a look at Vetiver Essence. So I did not look at the note breakdown on this one either. I have the dry down on this arm. It definitely gets a bit more earthy in the dry down. It's more fresh, woody, and aromatic in the opening. It was much fresher than I anticipated it to be. It's not a real heavy citrus type of smell, but it's like a breezy, soft wood type of smell with a little bit of aromatics, not real soapy or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little bit of a fresh, spicy tone, but not heavy. Very easygoing opening. But as it starts to dry, it gets a little bit more on the smoky, earthy side. Not real dirty. It's a nice vetiver overall. This one does have the cap, luckily. Let me spray that opening just to remind myself. <sighs> yeah, just a nice hit of woods in the top. The vetiver here is more on the woody side. I wouldn't call it very earthy. It does get a little earthy as it dries, but this is a solid fragrance as well. Better than I anticipated it to be because I'm not, it's no secret, I'm not the biggest fan of vetiver based fragrances. They're usually hit or miss for me. I'll either really like them or it's a complete pass for me. Here, I find myself really liking it. Maybe not to the point of Ancre Noir Sport. That's kind of my favorite vetiver fragrance at this point. It's the cheapest vetiver fragrance I own. It's kind of my favorite, even more so over Raja Parfum's vetiver. But this, I could see myself just enjoying all through the autumn season that we're starting to settle into. This has that appeal because it's so woody. There's, there's no tons of citrus and spice. Like, it doesn't remind me of Terre de Hermes. doesn't have that orange and peppery, earthy vetiver smell to it. It kind of does its own thing. I don't know what to relate it to because I don't have a ton of vetiver-based fragrances. But the one I can relate, you know, say that I, I don't find it smells like is the Ancre Noir line, any of those three. It's actually solid. Is it my favorite fragrance I've picked up recently? No. Am I going to wear it all the time? No. But I will reach for it here and there. This is another one. Both of these Ferrari fragrances are going to be inserted into the lineup this week with, uh, with the Mercedes fragrance. I plan on wearing all of them this week at the recording of this video. So I'm not going to say I'm head over heels excited to have this one, but I am pleasantly surprised with how much I've actually been enjoying it. So if you're looking for a fresh vetiver fragrance that's more on the woody side than anything else, maybe look into seeing if you can get a decent price on this one. And then finally, we have the new Ernest from Gentleman's Nod. So I actually wore Musashi like two days ago, their first release. This, the best way I can describe this one, I have to dry it on here. It's my scent of the day. It's all over me. It gets very woody, more cedar and tobacco heavy in the dry down. But in the top, there's a ton of different citrus fruits to where it gives this fruity sweet smell. It's fresh fruity tobacco. 
is basically how you can look at it. Because there's tobacco listed in the heart. There's tobacco listed again in the base. I don't really get any of the jasmine that is in the heart, but I do get the lavender. So it's fruity, fresh sweetness with some aromatics and a little touch of earthiness from the tobacco. Then it has kind of this abrupt transition a little while into where the citruses almost die off completely. And you get into this smooth, robust, and earthy tobacco with this dominating cedarwood smell where sandalwood's kind of in the backdrop. It doesn't make it a very creamy fragrance. It kind of has this edgy, woody presence to it with this earthy tobacco that comes across more smooth and refined than just super dark, smoky type of earthy. It's a, It's got a darkness. Like I said, it's more of a robust tobacco. But the cedar, the way the woods were blended here is fantastic. It's a 27% oil concentration, so it sticks to the skin. It just goes and goes and goes. After that initial pop of the citrus fruits in the top, because they're the most volatile oils in the fragrance, obviously that's where most of your projection is going to be. It does settle into more of a moderate sillage for the most part, where you can expect it to have a little bit of a lingering type of sillage to it, uh, because the oil concentration is just so high. It wears a little close to the skin, but it will linger, because the aroma coming off your skin is much more dense than something that's, say, an eau de parfum or an eau de toilette. I'm really digging this one. I don't think I like it better than Musashi. Musashi's yuzu and tea dominant, and it's freaking amazing. I, I wore that on my travel day when I came back home, uh, actually, the day before travel, I wore that on Monday. Yeah, let's see my rotation table. I wore that on Monday. The jury's still out on this one. I do really like this fragrance. I just don't think it's the best of the house yet of the two releases. They have more fragrances coming down the line, but I think this one's at minimum a very good fragrance. Um, I, this was just my first wearing. I'll spend some more time with it, and uh, maybe we'll do a full review here in the coming weeks. But Definitely worth sampling at least if you're looking for a fruity tobacco, something that's a little different, doesn't remind me of anything in particular, um, you might want to check it out. Again, this is Ernest, number 85, from Gentleman's Nod. Well, that's the four that I got in this haul. Thank you to everyone that sent these fragrances out to me. They are in a good home. I will enjoy them. One of them I'm currently wearing, um, and I'll be wearing the other three over the next several days for sure. If you want to see full reviews on any of these three fragrances, please make sure to let me know down in the comments. And speaking of, until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried any of these four? What do you think about them? Do, are they passes? Do you love certain ones? Are you interested in trying any of these? Because it's actually quite the variety. You have woody vetiver. You have spicy leather. You have shower gel fresh, basically sauvage. And you have a fruity tobacco. There's really a very diverse collection in these four fragrances. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these four and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Oh,